Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius, January 21st, 2023. You're regaining momentum this week, and you're in particularly good favor for real estate, family, home life, and personal time. It's a period for robust ideas that can serve you well for years to come if you follow through with them. A breakthrough is likely regarding a family matter. Your confidence helps make things happen, so taking the initiative and putting your heart into a relationship or project can be worthwhile. You're striving toward an improved emotional foundation, home life, and domestic world, and long-term renovations can figure strongly. The focus is on security, and you will go to greater lengths to achieve it. The last several weeks have made you want to bury beneath your blankets and hide from the world. Mental Mercury, our cosmic messenger planet of the mind and communication, is now emerging from the rubble he caused in your solar house of identity your zodiac sign as he smirks to begin his journey forward once again. This is an extremely important period to consider the foundations and structures of your life and how you use romance or partnership as a part of your reality's masterpiece. Respect what you learned and what emerged in recent weeks before you put the puzzle pieces back together again. Step into the spotlight. Now that the moon is in your sign, it will be detriment, which means that it is not traditionally well-placed. However, the moon in your sign can still be a positive professional influence. You might feel like all eyes are on you during this lunation since your professionalism will be illuminated. Who you are, what you can do, and the lasting impression you leave in a professional setting is almost irresistible during this lunation. But you need to believe in yourself to make the lunar energy work to your advantage. On the same day that Venus not only moves into her final seven days in your income sector but closer to an alignment with Saturn that will peak here over the weekend, the Sun returns. This is the point in each year that the solar spotlight shifts onto your income situation, matters and options but rarely to find things set up and ready to go. Be good to yourself, because nobody else has the power to make you happy, George Michael said that in one of his songs, and he might as well have been thinking of you. You need to take the power into your own hands and create the physical reality you can be happy in. This means opening up your eyes to all that you wish were different about your body and taking steps toward a future form that is closer to your ideal. Don't hesitate to get the ball rolling on any new programs or initiatives that you've been thinking of recently. When it comes to the new and untried, there is no better essence than this to give it a go. Don't let awkwardness or even shyness keep you from sharing your ideas. You have much to offer, and the only way to realize your full potential is to bring things out onto the testing ground. Have confidence in yourself. The moon makes both its first and one of its most well-timed returns to Capricorn of the year. Returning just before the sun is due to leave, the moon returns in time to ensure you are emotionally and intuitively engaged in the final hours of your birthday month but also during Mercury's first full day back in direct motion here. To have Mercury turn direct yesterday and then the moon return today, is giving this new solar year the green light and a chance to look forward with confidence. It is just as Mercury is spending his first full day in direct motion in Capricorn and just hours before the sun leaves, bringing your birthday month to a close that the moon returns. This is a chance to embrace a chance to look to the future, while also supporting Uranus in his final days in retrograde motion in your romantic sector, where the doors are open to the past and second chances for another three days. Our eyes in the sky. The Capricorn moon harmonizes with Saturn and Venus, giving us a chance to understand our commitments and relationships at a soulful level. This is an auspicious time to plant the seeds for a better tomorrow. Later, the moon moves into Capricorn, cementing all of our beliefs and visions as we try to make them reality. Put your best foot forward in the later hours of the day and bring your dreams to life. Your overall confidence is solid today, so don't let this be shaken up by someone probably a male who takes an aggressive tone with you. Just because someone is being more assertive doesn't mean that he or she is right. Trust yourself. The energy of the day brings a touch of light fantasy into your love life. 
Any problems you have had lately could be transformed if you could leave them behind and focus on letting yourself go. If you are going out on a date, you would be better to enjoy the atmosphere of pure romance and leave tomorrow to take care of itself. Don't try to nail down any answers today, Taurus, because you will probably end up feeling frustrated. The less you try to force your will on others, the more you will find that things just automatically go your way. Today isn't about finding solutions to problems. It's about enjoying what you've already learned and accomplished. Keep things light. There may be a rather confusing element to the day. You feel tempted to act, but some of the pieces seem to be missing. It could be hard to make a decision, since you don't have the whole picture in front of you. You're better off spending this day outside with a group of friends rather than trying to make any major life decisions or commitments. Move beyond petty squabbles today so that you can see the bigger picture. There is opportunity in conflict, whether you realize it or not. The object of the game is not who is right and who is wrong. The object is improving your business. Just after midnight, the Capricorn moon squares off with Neptune in Pisces, stimulating confusion. If we are asleep at this hour, we may experience disorienting dreams. Although interesting information could be imparted by our subconscious mind, we should avoid taking its messages too literally in waking life. In our effort to create meaning, we can misinterpret symbols. If we take a sign and run with it now, we risk setting ourselves off on a fool's errand. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon sextiles Saturn in Aquarius, helping to restore our good sense. This transit offers us discipline and patience. We can step back from our immediate surroundings and give proper context to situations or interactions that initially baffled us. If we are still asleep, our dreams may become less bizarre. We are reminded not to get so bogged down in illusion and fantasy that we lose our bearings. The moon then enters a void period lasting until before noon. Use the morning to relax if possible. If work must be done, attend to business already in progress instead of starting new ventures. Giving in to what you feel like doing every minute of the day can be a wonderful fantasy but not a very healthy practice. Having a body is a bit like having a job, and you can make this either the best or the most challenging job you ever have. A regular, well thought out program is recommended for a positive, working relationship with your body. Begin to notice whether you give your body a real vote in the daily decisions you make about your health. 